Good morning, ladies. It's 10 a.m. in the morning and I have just finished dishwashing. That is after our 8.30 to 9 a.m. breakfast. And I thought that for today on a Sunday, I can tell you how I do my dishwashing, some tips and tricks, and why I always say I'm the fastest dishwasher. And uh, you might say, hey, Abig, I thought you don't clean on a Sunday. Actually, it's not exactly cleaning. It's not what I said before, like I mop, I dust, I sweep. It's washing the breakfast dishes. So it's actually a rest from cleaning. I will tell you my tips and tricks and my history in a minute. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Abig, and in this channel, I give you my tips and tricks on work-life balance, maximizing technology, and growing in faith. So today is a Sunday, and I have just finished my dishwashing. And I can tell you I'm the fastest. How did that happen? I think it's something that dates back to my childhood days. I told you that I grew up in the province, so we did not have any helper at all. So even at the young age, I learned how to wash dishes, and I had to hurry, really, so that I can also uh, study. So that is, I think, the earliest that I could recall that I really had to wash the dishes fast. So during college also, when I was studying in Manila, sometimes I come home at 2 o'clock after the commuting time and I find that still there are dishes there and I understood completely because my mother probably did not have time before she went to work at 8 a.m. in the government office. Probably it, it would be around 2 p.m. that I would um, be doing the dishwashing and I just had about three hours before I go back again to the kitchen and do the cooking of the rice and preparing the table, setting the table for supper. So that was also a good reason for me to hurry things up because I had to do other things and that's when I really had to uh, be fast in dishwashing. And what I remembered from there, I don't know if it worked for you, is to start always with the cleaner items, the, the drinking glasses, and then you go to the dirtier ones. In my first day abroad, and that was in London, I stayed there for two years. I live in a student residence, and I clearly remembered my first experience with an industrial dishwasher. Because you don't exactly wash everything with your hands, you do pre-washing, and then you stock up everything and put them inside the washing machine. So the tip there is that you do a little bit of pre-washing, the sticky items like peanut butter in the knives, probably the milk that stuck on the glasses, and that's it. But it was faster and just put everything again there in the machine. I really remember the sound of the machine with its strong jets of water spray mixed with the detergent. There's a second sound when the machine finished the cleaning part and it starts again with another rotary jet of water spray and with rinsing aid. And these two combined will really make sure that the surfaces are clean, bacteria free again and hot and really it takes little time to wipe them dry. So coming back to Manila, I went back to washing by hand and sometimes like living with some friends, you have to make sure that you start with something that they can work on. So I forgot about doing the glasses first. I started with the cutlery and the crockery so that they will rinse them or wipe them. And then I clean the basin. I start with the cleaner water and another sponge for washing the glasses. And in my second stay abroad, and that was in Spain for four years, then I got to use a smaller domestic machine. We were always in charge of filling up the dishwashing machine after lunch. And that was also something quick and that's why I had to learn to pre-wash everything quickly because we had to go back to what they say, the uni. We had to go back to the university. And before that, we had to have a little bit of get together and drink coffee. So it was really a fast one. The glasses and the cups and the bowls in the middle of the top layer, in the bottom, the plates and the platters and the pans and the bigger ones. We don't dry them anymore. We come back at the end of the day and before supper, we remove the things from the washing machine. And then now I go back to using a bigger industrial dishwashing machine and I am back to my quick mode and I really enjoy it reminiscing really the sound of the bigger dishwashing machine I had in London. So it's really like a uh, I go back to the memory lane every time on a Sunday I do the dishwashing. So I hope you learned something today from my little tips and tricks. And do comment below if you want some more tips of this kind. And don't forget to like, to subscribe, to share. And i see you in the next one.